goodness. Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. This might be the craziest thing that I've ever tried to resin 3D print and I'm so excited to share it with you all today. So a few months ago, I made a video all about resin stacking and how you can take resin 3D prints and stack them on top of each other to try and maximize your build volume of the 3D printer that you're working with. And this project takes that to an entirely new level and I think really helps further justify the idea of resin stacking and using a support system to further support the things that you're trying to print. And if you follow me over on TikTok, you'll see that myself and lots of others have been printing this amazing articulating dragon file by Cinderwing 3D that you can find over on Colts 3D. Initially, I went off and printed this on the Elgu Mars 3, and it took about just under one hour to 3D print. Initially, uh, I didn't use a flex plate and ended up wrecking it, and then reprinted it again with a flex plate and was mostly able to get it off of the build plate successfully and it articulates really nicely but it is pretty small in order to fit the Elgu Mars 3 so I decided you know what I need to actually print this on the Saturn but what I really wanted to try and do was print the newest iteration that they've released which is a coil designed version of this dragon that's using that resin stacking principles of using supports on top of itself so that you can, again, maximize the build volume of your printer. So I scaled this up to fit within the Elgu Saturn and went off and tried to print it. Well, I completely managed to screw this one up. This was a nine hour print and I ran out of resin probably within the last 30 minutes of the print. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everything looks incredible here that was printed on the Saturn. And yeah, just ran out of resin at the very, very end. After that initial failure, of course I needed to try and reprint it and get a success out of it. But before I could do that, I used the vat cleaning feature along with some old supports to pull out any failed prints out of the vat before I started that next print. And while this is printing, I did want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elgu, the makers of the Elgu Mars 3, the Elgu Saturn, and the Elgu Jupiter. Which, spoilers, of course we're going to be printing one of these over on the Jupiter. If you're like me, you love resin 3D printing, or maybe you're interested in getting started with resin 3D printing, Elgu makes some amazing resin 3D printers that can easily get you up and running in no time flat. If you're interested in more information about any of Elgu's resin 3D printers or any of their other products, you'll find links to those down below. I want to say a huge thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video and this wild and crazy project. Oh, and I forgot to mention all of the resin that I'm using for these 3D prints are from Elgu and you can find predefined profiles for each of their resins over on their website. And I'm happy to say this time around, it printed properly, no issues with printing it, no running out of resin. I did make sure to go back in and top it off after about, I think about two hours of into printing this, I added more resin to the vat to make sure that I didn't run out of resin again like I did the first go around. For this project, I probably should have investigated trying to hollow it out to save some bit of resin with all this. So everything printed solid. I am using a Wham Bam Flex Plate for this and it should allow me to more easily flex it off of the build plate without completely wrecking the print. Oh my goodness. If I don't make that the intro to the video, something's wrong with me. Oh my goodness, it's really stiff. All right, I'm gonna just carefully pop it off I think here. Yeah, I'm breaking the supports every time I go about doing this. Oh, there we go. Woo! That was actually really easy. And the entire print came, came free. The base of the dragon itself is just sitting on the build plate. And then there is a whole bunch of supported arches here that are going to help this print and it really I think they've done a fantastic job minimizing the amount of supports that they're using they're not using the whole shelving system that I had looked at previously it looks like they've gone in and very precisely gone in and placed supports and multiple support structures to stack this up on itself. Like normally I would heat this up with some hot water and I could pop supports off. I don't want to do that because I don't want to break the links of the actual dragon. Actually, while I'm trying to figure out how to remove the supports, 
from this dragon print on the Saturn, of course, I need to go off and print this even larger and I'm going to be printing it on the Elgu Jupiter. So I went into Chitu box and scaled it up to, I think it was 180% scale and tried to run the 3D print. Unfortunately, yeah, the first attempt failed completely and I thought it had to do with maybe the settings that I had used for the resin, but no, I went back and looked at the file and unfortunately the first handful of layers of the print didn't actually print properly. And it's because I scaled this up so large that there was a small point in the bottom of the print from the file that I needed to account for. So I lowered the file, I think uh, 0.5 millimeters or something along those lines to get it to actually sit within the build plate. And once I did that and re-sliced it, I could start the print and noticed it was printing properly from the get-go. I also had a live stream of this print up and running on TikTok, which was a lot of fun. And after 13 hours, the print finished. And check this out, it is enormous. This might be one of the largest things that I've ever run off in resin 3 printed, especially in one entire print. This pretty much maximized the entire build volume of the Jupiter and I am so impressed with how this went off and printed. And just as comparison, here's a side-by-side -side off of the Saturn versus the Jupiter. And yeah, I still need to get the supports off this thing. Unfortunately for myself, I have yet to install my Wham Bam Flex Plate on the Jupiter build plate here. That would have made the process of getting this print off the build plate so much easier. So yeah, this will be a fun process of trying to get this off the build plate. So I think the best approach is just going to be to manually remove each one of the supports by hand using one of these little snippers here. Oh, is that the door? Let's see who it is. It's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, but I forgot to plug in the audio cable back to my camera. He's here to pick up a 3D printer from me and to check out this crazy huge resin 3D print. He also brought along one of his resin 3D printed Hawkeye arrows that actually lights up. You can actually buy the file and print one for yourself over on his website and make sure to check out Kevin over at 3D Printed Props here on YouTube for some amazing cosplay related content. Ta -da! And here is the massive coiled dragon printed on the Elgu Jupiter. I didn't end up dipping the print in hot water like I normally would, but I didn't want to actually break the connections between each of the connection points. This support tower in itself is pretty dang impressive and you can really see how they went through and manually placed all of those supports against the coiled dragon to allow you to actually print this. If I had to guess, this is probably a half a bottle of resin, if not slightly more, just for the support tower itself for this huge version of the dragon. And thankfully, I printed this on the Elgu Jupiter with that auto refilling system there because there's no way I would have been able to print this without refilling it multiple times. Now I have the fun challenge of trying to actually clean this. And here's our cured dragons. I honestly am a little in awe of how big these are and how heavy they are. I'm gonna have to pull out the scale and see exactly how heavy they are, and I have a tape measure, and we're gonna see exactly how long they are, but I ended up being able to wash them in the washing station. They're too big to go into the curing station, so I used one of my UV buckets that I have laying around and was able to cure these after letting them sit in there and continually moving them around every, let's say, minute to every two minutes. I did also run off and cure the failed dragon print that's fully supported here. I figured this might be a nice display piece. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with the cured red resin supports, but again, might be a cool little display piece here just to show people how this was actually printed. Now, just to give you an idea of how long these are <laughs> here, uh, this is the blue one, obviously, that I'm pulling up, and I feel like these things just kind of never end in terms of how long they go. And then, obviously, we have the enormous red dragon, and again, this thing is just so long and impressive. It's got to be at least 
a pound, two pounds in weight. It's very impressive. And honestly, I was a little surprised to see that it didn't break free from the build plate. And even on the flex plate with the, the Saturn version where it took up the entire build surface, I was very impressed to see that the flex plate held up and that the print didn't break free at all. So let's measure and see exactly how long the blue dragon is. And it's pretty long. So here, this is one feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. And it's just under eight feet long. I still can't get over how long that thing is. It's just ridiculous. All right, and I've got the red one laid out next to the blue one here. So again, one feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet, nine feet, 10 feet, and it ends at 11 feet, just over 11 feet long. And just to give you a different visual reference, this is a large resin bottle from Elgu and it's about 16 bottles long. So what I'm really interested in seeing is how much all of these weigh. So the failed print and supports, this is one pound, 3.2 ounces. Just the supports for the Red Dragon is one pound, 0.2 ounces. Here are most of the removed supports from the Blue Dragon and that's 5.6 ounces. And here's the Blue Dragon, which weighs 13 ounces exactly. For the Red Dragon, I'm gonna try and fit this all on there without having it fall off the sides. This is two pounds, 2.4 ounces. Now, would I recommend you run out and print one of these for yourself? No, probably not. But if you wanted to, you can, thanks to those crazy supports that they were able to put down for these files, again, which is just showing you a different way of doing resin stacking. And I honestly think this is a more accurate way that you could go about printing something in, in extremely long lengths here. Again, this is 11 feet long that I was able to print on the Elgu Jupiter, which is just crazy. The support removal for that whole process was a little painful, but overall, I'm very impressed that I was able to actually print something like this on one of these resin 3D printers, given the build volume and space that they're limited to. And they're all articulating, which is even crazier to me since I was able to loosen up some of those joints after it printed. If you are interested in printing one of these, either the standard flat version or one of these coiled versions, I'll have a link over to Cinderwings 3D's post over on Colts 3D where you can pick that file up. They also have a Patreon that you can join if you're interested in hearing more behind the scenes of them making files or if you're interested in selling those files. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printing settings, you can find those within my Patreon. I want to say thanks so much for watching and hanging in on this video here where we are looking at another iteration of resin stacking. And again, I honestly think this is a more appropriate way of going through and doing resin stacking versus what I initially showed you here of building towers. Yes, this looks like it's using a lot of resin and it's because I scaled it up by 180%. So normally I don't think it would be using this much resin as we were able to see when I was weighing in and comparing between the Saturn and the Jupiter. But again, another really impressive option out there if you wanted to go about doing something as crazy as stacking a print on top of itself to make a stupidly long version of it. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.